I don't want to dwell too much on dynamic blocks in this course because there is actually already an infinite skills dynamic blocks course anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm giving you a sample of how these dynamic blocks can make you work much smarter and much faster. So if you want to learn a lot more about dynamic blocks, go and look up the other infinite skills course. So what do you get with sample dynamic blocks though? There's a whole load of sample dynamic blocks that you get with AutoCAD already. So I've got a drawing open, 04 Sample Dynamic Blocks Complete. If you want to follow along, it's 04 Sample Dynamic Blocks DWG. It is a blank metric drawing. What I'm going to do is just use layer zero. I don't need any other layers. I'm just going to show you where these sample dynamic blocks are and how to utilize some of them as well. So I'm in the Home tab currently on the ribbon. Go to the View tab. And in here, you want to go to your tool palettes like we looked at previously. Now, there's our metric blocks that we created previously in this particular course. But I want to show you some of the blocks that are available on these palettes. So if I went to something like, let's say, architectural, you can see there that there's all these different imperial samples. I'm in a metric drawing, so I scroll down. I've got the same metric samples as well. So if I bring in, say, a vehicle, so if I click and I drag and release and double click and zoom extents, you can see there's my vehicle there. So I've got a side view of a car. If I click on that as a block, there's a visibility states arrow there. So if I click there, I can pick any type of vehicle I want. Now this goes back to the visibility states we did previously in the previous video. If I go for a truck and I want the side view, it's a different kind of vehicle. It's just a visibility state setting. Click there. If I go for sports car rear, there's the rear view of the sports car and so on and so forth. Top of the truck and I can go back to sports car side and we're back to where we were before. So that's one particular dynamic block. I'll just hit escape there to deselect it. Just pan across a little bit so we've got a little bit more room. How about something a bit more architectural like a window? Let's bring in an aluminium window in elevation here. So I click on it, click and drag and bring it into the drawing. Now I'm just going to move that down. So I use the grip there. I'll just move it down a little bit. Here's one of the other really cool dynamic tools available. I select the window. I click on the arrow. I can resize the height. I can resize the width. So as you can see, there's a whole plethora of dynamic blocks available to you. I've just looked at one tab on the tool palettes tab there. If I go to mechanical, I've got things like bearings and valves and hex head bolts. If I go to electrical, I've got all my electrical symbols, things like relays, pilot lights, switches. There's a whole load of dynamic blocks available to you. And that doesn't even include all the dynamic blocks that you might create from your block families that you've already got existing within your company or organization. So look up dynamic blocks on the Infinite Skills website. There's some great courses and some great information to be had. It might make you that little bit smarter and faster, but also once you've created all these dynamic blocks, it will be amazing how much more productive you are when you're working in AutoCAD.